I'm Charlie Moore. This is Bruins Academy. Everybody, I'm Charlie Moore, and guess what? It's time to drop the puck on a brand new episode of Bruins Academy. Folks, I love hockey, and if you love hockey, you've come to the right place. We've got an inside look at the new Heritage Hall over at the TD Garden. And you're right, it's that time of year again. Time for Girls Hockey Day out on the Boston Bruins ice. Plus, we have the best of the best when it comes to hockey videos sent in by you. Let me tell you, they're good. But first things first here on Bruins Academy, we're gonna kick things off with Boston Bruins defenseman, Kevin Shattenkirk. He's going back to school. You ready to roll? We're ready, All right, we're ready. let's go up. Fine. How many people in here have ever heard of the Boston Bruins? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Kevin is visiting today to promote the NHL's Future Goals program, which teaches STEM concepts through the sport of hockey, which is very cool. Nice to meet you. Hey guys, there's soccer My name's Kevin Shattenkirk. I've been playing for 14 years in the NHL. Been skating since I was three years old. Rebound collected by Pasternak. Great pass. He scores. Kevin Shattenkirk. This time it's a highlight reel pass from David Pasternak. I think when I was a kid, it was always something that I really wanted to do. I always just really had fun doing it. I loved playing with my friends. My mom is a teacher, so I appreciate what you guys are doing in the classroom. Hopefully, respecting your teachers, behaving, raising hands. What program did you just close the computers on? Everfy. What's Everfy about? Hockey. Maybe you can teach me some things. The flexibility in the stick. That's cool. Wow, this is much. This is. I wasn't learning about this stuff. That's cool. It was nice to meet you guys. Okay, listen up, Boston Bruins fans. The Bruins just opened up a new exhibit over at the TD Garden. It's called the Heritage Hall. And if you're a true Bruins fan, you're gonna wanna check this out. In partnership with the Sports Museum, the Boston Bruins Heritage Hall is now open over at the TD Garden. And if you want to know what this team and its history are all about, well, this is the place. This whole process began by us asking ourselves, how do we do best by the spoke to be? How do we honor the legacy, the 100-year legacy that is the Boston Bruins? Being a member of an original six franchise is really something special. You put the spoke B on and, and, it, and, it, and it harkens back to the day of what it meant to the city, what it meant to New England, what it means to the fans. And, and uh, to be a player to wear that jersey is something I think all our guys have felt a sense of pride and they should. We're very blessed to play hockey in this city and get the support that we do from our fans. Are you, se are you all seven? No, Steve, Steve Casper. That's great. The Bruins Heritage Hall has all kinds of awesome interactive exhibits, historical memorabilia, a hockey simulator, and much, much more. If you are a fan of the Boston Bruins or even a retired Boston Bruins legend, this place is a must visit. My skates? Jeez. I might need them though. Right? <laughs> You guys are gonna be blown away. They did an amazing job. I wanna congratulate everybody that worked on this. And I think our fans are really gonna enjoy. It's pretty cool. How are they getting all that stuff? So let's celebrate the Boston Bruins. Let's celebrate the 100 years of experience and wonderful entertainment that they've given us. As a member of the Jacobs family, I can tell you this is an incredibly proud moment. Yeah. 
Here's a little Boston Bruins nugget for you. Recently at a Centennial Era night, the Bruins honored the 2011 Stanley Cup champions during a pregame ceremony. And the captain of the 2011 Bruins, number 33, Zidane Chara. Did you know there is only one active player left from the 2011 Stanley Cup champion team? That would be Captain Brad Marchand. However, two other important players from that squad are still in the organization. Forward Chris Kelly, who was now in his third year as an assistant coach, and defenseman Adam McQuaid, who is a player development coordinator with the Boston Bruins. The 2011 Stanley Cup run was something totally epic. Now, we just need to get a new one. Let's go Bruins as we head to commercial break. Welcome back to Bruins Academy, everybody. I'm Charlie Moore. Bruins Academy, the show all about knowing, growing, and loving the sport of hockey. Now, the Bruins love to give back to their community. And recently, the Bruins and Bosch Tools did something very unique. We're here at uh, Somerville High School. This is a great partnership with Bosch and the Bruins and the students here at Somerville to create some unique items with some broken hockey sticks. Welcome to the Center for Career and Technology Education at Somerville High, where the Boston Bruins and Bosch Power Tools are joining forces to empower careers in the skilled trades. Today it's a partnership with uh, you know, Bosch, the Bruins, and Somerville High School with the students in woodworking shop. They're gonna build furniture and they're gonna send it to an auction to help the school out. We have your 12 volt Joe Driver impactor, cordless, Sirxa. Today went great. Since we got a little help from Bosch with them providing us our tools, we're being contracted to uh, make furniture and crafts out of broken hockey sticks. The students will design and build creative new items using sticks from the Bruins and tools from Bosch, which will then be auctioned off by the Bruins Foundation to benefit the school. That's what I call a win-win. We definitely need kids to be creative. We definitely want kids to be in the trades, you know, to help build and wire and do plumbing. The kids are so excited, as you can see, and this is a great opportunity for Somerville Career Technical Education Program. We just want to thank Bosch and the Bruins. This is very important to our school, so thank you once again. Okay, listen up, Boston sports fans. When you go to the TD Garden for a concert, Celtics game, of course you're Boston Bruins when they're playing, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes to make your visit comfortable and enjoyable. Up next on Bruins Academy, we're gonna take a look at who's doing that. The Bruins are playing at home, and it's another full house of diehard fans, which means it's also game day for the TD Garden Guest Services staff. It's an influx of people coming in the building. You know, we welcome 18,000 fans every night. On the daytime basis, I focus a lot on accessibility accommodations, you know, enhancing the experience for our team members, making sure they have everything they need during the event so, you know, we can put on something successful. TD Garden is home to the Bruins and Celtics, of course, plus all kinds of other events, which means there's always plenty to do for the staff, all of whom are dedicated to making sure their guests have a great time. We have team members that have been here for 50 years. We have team members that this is their first season and you know, just trying to see the cool things that they can do um, on event night, trying to empower them to, to create those positive experiences that we aim for. Have fun Thank you. Thank you. This is my 25th year. You have to like people, you shouldn't be here, you know what I mean? And 99% of them are just great people. It's just the atmosphere. It's gonna be a little sports junkie too, you know what I mean? The staff works a lot of weekends, a lot of games and concerts, but they truly enjoy what they do. 
the team on the Bruins side, the TD Garden side has done an incredible job. I would say, you know, just being a part of this season has been really awesome. Basically, it's just a good place to work. It really is, you know, and uh, I enjoy it. Welcome back to Bruins Academy, the greatest hockey show on planet Earth. Up next on BA, we're going to the vault of fan videos that you sent in. And let me tell you, they're good. Let's kick things off with 13-year-old Ben Wall, all the way from Germany, working on his off-ice skills, looks smooth with the puck, and pulls a nice Michigan. Keep working on it, Benny, baby. Woo! Love the blades. Next up in goal, it's 11-year-old Ainsley Schwarzkopf from the Valley Junior Warriors. Beauty pads, by the way. Let's talk about those. She makes a nice save. Textbook technique, well done, Colonel. Here's six-year-old Kyle Medeiros from the Medford Nets. Number 60 in your program. Sprints to the net and back hands it home. Nice goal, Kyle. Hey, give me the Sally. How about six-year-old Leo Andriopoulos, the Greek from the Neshoba Grizzlies, who winds it up and goes end-to-end, -end, capping it off with a great move and diving goal. Number 63, Leo Marchand. Woo! How about some Spanagopita? Next is 11-year-old Matthew Montfarquette. Nice little dangle, dangle, dingle, dungle, and roofs a beauty. Nice shot, Montfarquette. And finally, this is 10-year-old Aiden Cello from Ludlow, Mass, and pulls off the spinorama goal. Are you kidding me? That's how you get it done, Aiden. Did I tell you? Did I say those were some good videos? Listen, do you want to appear on the next episode of Bruins Academy? Well, send in your hockey-related videos. Anything to do with hockey, and who knows? You may be a star on the next episode of Bruins Academy. All right, all right, moving along. Up next on BA, it's that time of year again. It's time for Girls Hockey Day. It's the annual Girls Hockey Day at TD Garden, presented by Wasabi Technologies. This year, hundreds of hockey players from across New England are here to skate on the Bruins ice and, of course, have some fun. This is what it's all about, right? You, it's, you have a dream when you start a company that somehow, some way, you'll be able to give back. These little girls are seeing their way and their future and their opportunities, and, and, and that's, that's what this is all about. We made it! Woo! Along with the clinics and public skates, today's event also has players from the women's bean pot teams skating with the girls. And to help keep the sport growing, Wasabi Technologies has made a big donation to the Everyone's a Player organization. We are a program that provides access and opportunity for Lawrence youth to participate in sports. We decided we were going to, in two weeks, take on a whole slew of events for girls in sports. We had over 450 girls moving, and it was awesome. Yeah, Blaine! What position do you play in hockey? I don't play hockey. So this was your first time out there on the ice? Yeah. What was your favorite part about today? Skating. Your dad played at Northeastern? No, he didn't. Are you serious? So what's really cool, of course, is seeing the beam pop players, the beam pop ladies out there on the ice. Again, it's, you know, it's, it's a role model. And to see these little girls see idols and what they could become, that's fulfilling their dreams. I'm very excited about the opportunity to be here today. I think it's great. It's honestly, they're all enjoying it so much and they look up to people like us and it's kind of cute because I was once uh, in their shoes. 
so many girls have joined the game and just to see all the girls out here, everyone having fun, everyone wanting to play and just being able to kind of show them the things that we've gone through and help them reach their goals is really awesome. We love the Bruins. We're a hometown company and nobody does it better than what you folks do here at the Boston Bruins. Hey, welcome back to Bruins Academy. Hope you're having fun watching this episode of Bruins Academy. Listen, I'm not much of a rule follower. However, when you play hockey, there's rules and you gotta listen to the rules. Otherwise, you're gonna go in the penalty box. Up next on BA, we're gonna talk to the guys in the zebra outfits. That's right, the referees. <laughs> Two minutes for being a bad host. <laughs> The call on the ice stands. We got a goal. Communication is huge for the for officials to the players. You have to be able to talk to them, and you got to talk to them all game long. Keep them focused on hockey. They are going to be 100%. Great. Great. Okay. Yep. Okay. As long as they're right. Before a recent Bruins game, several aspiring young referees got the opportunity to meet an officiating crew and find out what it really takes to wear the stripes in the NHL. I played hockey pretty much all my life. My dad got me into refing. It's been like your favorite part of like the grind and just like getting through it at the, at the lower levels. I started 15 and I had to start with the little ones and you get through every level. It's not easy to get to this point. Let's go, let's go. I started 11 years old doing the little kids on Saturday mornings and worked my way up. You gotta put in the time and you have to make yourself available. I mean, it's not gonna come easy. And yeah, when those calls come in, they're, they're pretty exciting times for sure. <laughs> Are there still like rules you like don't know? Like you have to learn every single rule in the rule. If you don't know your rules, you know you're in the wrong position. <laughs> you need to you kinda need to know them. It'd be a legal fashion! That's not a legal fashion! It was pretty cool, uh, motivating. Number 47 for Boston. Well guys, five minutes each for fighting! Never turn a game down if you can do it. You never know who might be there watching. Working the games is the fun part. It's obviously work too, but you know it's not hard to get up for games like this. It's good to be a part of. It was determined that the puck completely crossed the goal line. We have a goal. Woo! Overall, I think the NHL referees do a bang bang job. However, my personal opinion, let's get rid of the replay rule, shall we? Up next on BA, we're going around the NHL with Colton Sissons. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Colton Sissons of the Nashville Predators. Thank you for having me on Bruins Academy. Colton Sissons, who played a little street hockey there. He scores! Colton Sissons! I grew up in North Vancouver, BC, Canada. Obviously, growing up in Canada, hockey was huge, so um, all of my buddies and I played together, and just a great place to, to be competitive and, and to get better, and I have a lot of fun while we were doing it. Colton spent three years with the WHL's Kelowna Rockets, where his play led Nashville to draft him in 2012. Most of his time was in the AHL for the next three seasons before he joined the Predators for good in March 2016. Charging after it, Sissons. He's got it! He scores! The fan base in the city itself, it's just a great place to live and uh, a great place to just to play hockey and the fans are so supportive and um, it's, it's been a really good run so I really love living there. A talented defensive forward and face-off man, Colton has now played over 600 games for the Nashville Predators. He also scored a big hat trick in the 2017 playoffs to send Nashville to the Stanley Cup Finals. Rockpoke with the puck, slides it across, scores! Unfortunately, lost to the Penguins, but uh, it was still a pretty cool experience. Nashville really got on board behind us, and um, it was an incredible experience. Thank you for having me on Bruins Academy. Well, that's it. That's a wrap on this episode of Bruins Academy, the show all about knowing, growing, and loving the sport of hockey, especially your Boston Bruins. Now, before I go, one more thing. 
Send in your hockey-related fan videos. Who knows? You may appear on the very next episode of Bruins Academy. Hey, from everyone at the TD Garden, your Boston Bruins, I'm your host, Charlie Moore. We want to thank you for watching Bruins Academy. And remember, go Bruins! Woo! Yeah, baby!